Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So after all of these trade talks going on, we finally, finally got a trade that went down today and is involving the Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets who've been pretty quiet this whole offseason so far. So the Lakers are going to be sending the Nets Timothy Mosgolf as well as D'Angelo Russell. I didn't know D'Angelo was on the block and he has finally gone and in return the lakers are going to get back the 27th pick on thursday and they're also going to get back brooke lopez now you guys should know if you follow me i am a lakers fan so i'll give you guys my reaction to it i think it's a great trade d'angelo russell i know him and coach luke walton aren't really seeing eye to eye and i pretty much assumed d'angelo russell was going to be gone this offseason so being able to get brooke lopez that gives you a big man and he's at least a rental if he balls out for one year, then you can extend him. If he has another mediocre and injury-prone year, his contract ends at the end of next season, which means he will be $22 million off of the books. So you can go ahead and spend that on free agent money, which could potentially be LeBron James. So not a bad move at all for the Los Angeles Lakers. If he does pan out, then you can re-sign Brooke Lopez as well. So I love the move. You know the Lakers, they're probably going to go for a point guard. So we'll see what happens. Getting rid of D'Angelo Russell, we already kind of knew the Lakers were going to get rid of him at some point. Now the question is, are the Lakers going to make any other moves possibly tonight? They are talking with the Pacers, so we'll see what happens. I love the move. I would love to hear what you guys have to think about in the comment section below. Good move for the Lakers, good move for the Nets, or are they bad for either one team or both teams? Let me know in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.